Paul is an HR professional who works for a software company that is expanding its team and hiring new developers and business analysts. Paul needs to create multiple positions in bulk in their HR system, which is Workday, for these new roles and assign them to the appropriate departments, compensation regions, and set up reporting relationships. Paul also needs to procure laptops for the new hires and ensure that they are ready before their onboarding date. Marcus is a pro developer who develops the automations that streamline employee and laptop procurement processes. Paul has prepared a list of over 100 positions to be hired for. The list has the details like the title, the number of openings, the work location, hardware requirements for the role, and more. Paul needs to ensure that these positions are created in Workday for the right supervisory organization and department location. Paul also needs to procure standard laptops for the business analyst positions and high-end laptops for the developer and graphic designer positions. Paul is now ready to create open positions in Workday and begin the hardware procurement process in ServiceNow. The process launches an automation wherein the file that we just saw is uploaded to Workday as an integration interface using Workday Enterprise Interface Builder, or EIB, and then the open positions are created. Once all the open positions are created, an incident is submitted in the ServiceNow instance to procure all the laptops. Let's see the result of this automation. If we go to Workday and search for the new positions created in the Accounts Payable Department under Staffing, we can see there are 111 items, out of which 105 items were created using this automation just now. And the remaining six positions were open from previously. Let's switch over to ServiceNow and take a look at the incident that was created. As we can see, there is a new incident created just now for a laptop procurement request for 105 laptops. And this incident will procure the necessary hardware for Paul. Let's now take a look at how our pro developer Marcus built the automation. This is the automation created by our pro developer using the Workday command package. As we can see, the Workday command package has four actions and these actions are used to establish a secure connection with Workday and then launch an EIB process in Workday to which the input spreadsheet is uploaded and the open positions are then created by triggering the EIB. Next, Marcus used the ServiceNow package to create an incident and submit the hardware procurement request for the 105 laptops. In summary, because the Workday and ServiceNow command packages are created using APIs, you can confidently create your automations using API-driven actions that are reliable and robust. As a result, you can confidently automate your Workday-related automations and ServiceNow-related automations using simple drag-and-drop operations.